only way we can hold the boggy lowlands around Falkirk is to build a castle and as many walls as we can construct in a short time. These fortifications will serve to protect our camp as we construct siege weapons with which to assault the English castle. Once the castle is constructed, Wallace himself has sworn to join our forces, and together we will attack Longshanks and his English troops. The English could attack at any time. You have some walls already, but you should complete them as soon as you have enough stone. surplus resources of one type, you can sell them for gold at your market. You can then use the gold to buy what you need. towers to defend your city. Units can garrison within a tower for defense and protection, and archers can even fire out of a tower. Defensive soldier will be less likely to attack an enemy that comes near him. Click a military unit, then note the combat stance buttons on the lower left corner of the screen. Using the advance buttons, you can also order a soldier to patrol an area between two points and guard or follow another unit. Access to a new type of formation. For example, with a box formation, you can protect a weak unit such as a monk. Thank you. 
Enough resources to go to the castle age. We should do that soon.
going to find lots of things to do in the castle age. For starters, try building a siege workshop to make battering rams and other siege weapons. to assign extra villagers to gather stones so you'll have enough to build the castle and all the fortifications you'll need. should be here soon and then oh, boy, yeah.
With your new siege workshop, you can make butter in rounds. Rams are slow, but they're resistant to arrow fire and excellent at knocking down walls. You may need some rams to attack the English castle. Bit fear. Bit fear. One of your most powerful units is created at the castle. Bit bit fear. Create ten more wold raiders. are massive siege weapons with a great range, available only in the Imperial Age. Remember that trebuchets must be packed to move and unpacked to fight.
open. Here. in Scotland are surely at an end. The forces of Wallace are triumphant. It looks certain that we would be defeated at Falkirk. Yet, somehow, though outnumbered and outranged by English longbows, we were victorious! English castle was torn down, and a Scottish one will be built in its place. William Wallace has shown us the path to victory. Although he's but one man, he inspires great deeds in others, and many of the Scottish princes and lords have drawn their swords with his. Wallace's own sword is a five and a half foot beast, forged, of course, in Scotland. He has sworn not to rest until his sword finds the neck of Edward Longshanks. The struggle will continue, but we have learned the ways of war. Now, it is the English who will know fear. 